Thank you for joining for the recovery day. I'm so proud of you. Today is August 31st, the last day, last day of summer in my calendar. <laughs> 1st of September was always the first day of school where I grew up. A good reminder to be always a student. Whenever the student is ready, the teacher is not just one teacher appears, but teachers appear everywhere. Yeah, we can learn from absolutely everyone how to do things right, how not to do things. <laughs> make, make sure you, you're sitting on something so your spine is tall because as we start our breath work today, it will be about strengthening the shoulders as well as strengthening the diaphragm. Our belly has to rock back and forth a little bit because the arms will be moving. Fingers to the sky, fingers are shut out, and then arms are going down. That's an exhale. Yeah, and then elbows, of course, to your comfort level. And always pressing a little bit backwards. Out and backwards, and exhale and backwards. Inhale, lift your chest, move your chest a little bit more forward, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Just like that. So let your upper body rock a little bit. Try to use lots of effort, muscular effort, to bring the air in through the nostrils, out through the nostrils, yeah. And on the exhale, we always wanna think about the soft tissues of the lower belly, pelvic muscles, so really squeeze them on the exhale to tone things up, to massage the organs. Fingers are stretched. Sometimes I even like to overstretch it this way when I go because the wrists sometimes are a little bit too tight. Use it as a fire transformation. So when it gets hot, when it gets tough, smile. <laughs> the heat is coming on last 10. Slow it down. And then oh, rest your arms up, take a deep inhale, strong your shoulders up. Inhale more. And exhale, release. Take a moment to close your eyes. Pay attention to both nostrils. Was it visual for you? Was it very clear for you? Which nostril was doing more work? Which one was a little bit congested? Just reflect on it. Take a few breaths, compare in your nostrils. Relax your eyes. Rest your shoulders. Feel the energy running through your back, upper back, your arms. and create an intention for today and a life going forward to be a student of feedback. Let's say when we affect people in any way, not to say not to take it personally, of course, it's you the one who you know did something you didn't expect, but see if we can practice today not to get defensive about those things. <laughs> if there are any opportunity that will come up, it's even simple stuff when you are driving and someone's honking at you, right? <laughs> It's, a, it's such a simple, you're in complete bubble, you don't know this person and you did something that irritated them with a hunk or did something you, they thought you did wrong. Or maybe you have done things wrong. How can we not get upset over them being upset? Not receiving it in any emotional distress. So when feedback comes, not to get defensive about it. All right, guys, we are here today. First is strengthening. We're gonna do just the two, three minutes of strengthening our upper body, upper back shoulders, and then it's all about foam roller today and stretches. So let's come up and forward, lie down on the hips. Hmm. Take a sphinx pose, reach your toes far out, and then move your forearms out and in towards, imagine you're moving them, pushing them, stretching them out and in towards you. 
Just a little bit of broadening the chest and dragging the chest forward as gently rocking side to side. See if it feels good for your lower back. And always your lower back can be more comfortable if your glutes engaged. Comfortable when muscles are hugging the bones. So that's where we have those muscles in the first place. Roll your shoulders back. Perfect, one more breath. And exhale. Okay, as we roll down, what's going to happen to our arms right now? It's going to slide towards the hips. So fingers go ping ping all the way down towards you feel your hip size of the hips. Squeeze your elbow tips towards each other, nose down. Today we're recovering neck and shoulders. We are preparing our neck and shoulders to be free, to be pain free, to move. So anything that we have, any tension in the shoulders has to begin with a little bit of strengthening our back body because the blood will come through. We want the blood when the muscles get engaged, blood rushes there, brings the nutrients, oxygen. We want that. Let's engage the glutes and see if you can press your elbow tips towards each other 10 time, times. And not only you're pressing them towards each other, but you're also trying to press your elbow tips towards the feet, so backwards as well. So inwards and backwards, inwards and backwards. So feeling it all across your back muscles, from your tailbone and up, in and back. Squeeze, pull back, so that lifts your chest tiny tiny last two last one perfect now just focusing on the on the arms itself three different variations elbows are bent i consider this one is not so much hard because elbows bent arms are not as heavy we just lift them 10 times and then elbows don't have to be too high in front of you they can be a little bit closer towards your waist let's go for six and five make sure we breathe inhale exhale you can inhale on two lifts, exhale on two lifts. Perfect. Next arm variation is palms facing the sky and arms alone alongside your upper body. Move your nose a little bit higher, but do not lift your chin away from the chest. So chin still points down, nose point down. So if you can just lift your upper back a little bit. Now arms, 10 lift, 10, 9, just the arms, 8 seven while you're lifting as high as possible from the floor without hands right four three two and one beautiful guys and the final one with palms facing down and arms as wide like an airplane wings this is the final for the neck and shoulders last ten lift ten nine here as high as you can Ooh, those are the muscles we're gonna roll out right next for four three two and one amazing work it's all about stretches now <laughs> extend your left arm out deep inhale you can place your left right palm under your face just left side of your face and then roll into your left hip your right knee can bend you can place your right foot on the floor anywhere or you can keep your right leg straight so find a place what you do and what you want to do with your right leg. But right hip can roll back and forth and adjust and dial down and dial up your shoulder chest stretch. Also, there is a way to us to get more space in the left part of your chest by sliding your left arm another half an inch away from you to see if there's a way for you. Your right palm is under side of your face for now, just to make sure your neck is comfortable. But another thing we can do here to intensify this is get our right hand out from underneath of the head. Make sure your head is comfortable though. If not, then keep it there. And we can lift the right arm up to the ceiling and bring the right hand on the floor behind you or on your waistline, on your waistline, just like you're taking a photo <laughs> with a hand on the, on the uh, waist. Elbow, let it drop back, hold. Mm, let the head be heavy. Beautiful guys, yes. And then super slowly, like you don't want to come out of it, but <laughs> there's another side that wants to be loved on let's switch the side slowly lower on the belly 
and extend your right arm out and then bring your left palm under your face so you feel cozy and then find your biggest stretch in the shoulder maybe your arm can go further kind of like just the fingers reach further away oh i love puppies so cute <laughs> and come join us here he goes okay now where do you want your left foot up and back back straight find a place for your left leg rock a little bit with your left hip and then maybe you want to bring your head on the floor and hand behind you and sometimes our shoulders are very big our chest is much more bigger so there's a way for our head to come onto the pillow in this position if your chest is much broader and your neck doesn't feel good with the head on the floor then you can grab a pillow and place it under your head or your fist upper hand if you want to open the chest two more breaths it's a reminder that this stretch can be done standing against the wall as many times as possible through the day this stretch can be done as you're walking through the doors bring both hands out and just hang kind of holding on to the frame of the door for a few breaths yeah and by interlacing the fingers behind us. Same kind of deep stretch in the chest. Okay, guys, let's move ourselves, yourselves back and grab your foam roller. So we were just stretching a lot. I wanna kind of, for the next exercise, I wanna get our spine rolled out with the neck, with the neck curve curve articulated so we will try to get our back into the c curve yeah here we are seated up with the foam roller behind the shoulders while it's easy to hold the head hold the head using your muscles but then to recline we definitely have to hold the head using our arms interlace the fingers behind and then whoop, let your head rest in those arms behind you and then here, first, we're going to start by just walking around. Walk left, walk right. So you, by walking, I mean, of course, your chest goes side to side. Your hips stay in place. Let yourself rock. Oh, yeah, this is so nice. Just drag your skin around, around the shoulder blades. Rock yourself across your shoulder blades from the left armpit to the right armpit, side to side. So when we were lifting the arms behind us, it would, was working all those muscles. So the ready, the blood is up on the surface, running through. Let's do the cleansing, recovery, help our body to release what needs to be released and to create what needs to be created. Now, elbows to the forehead, hold here. And also often shoulders are very high. When your elbows come to the forehead, let's lower the shoulders down as if you're trying to hug beneath the foam roller or just think about lengthening your neck moving the tops of your arms away from your ears any of those uh, cues try to get your shoulders away from the head in any way knees together feet wider apart than your hips just get a little space for your sacrum feet wider than your hips knees touch and then start looking up to the ceiling and letting yourself inhale backwards inhale go backwards Oh, and there's more if you start lifting your belly button away from the floor. And then roll up. Okay, guys, that felt so good. Inhale, smile if it's pleasurable. Look with your eyes beyond your elbows. See if you can stretch your eyes by moving them away from the floor, away from the nose, up towards the forehead and whatever elbows, wherever they point to. So see if you can stretch your eyeballs themselves. Exhale, come back. Oh, so let's go further and further. Hang here with your head is behind the foam roller held, elbows close to your head, and let's stretch the eyes just as far as you can go towards the floor without flexing your forehead. There's a skill. There's a way to engage the muscles of the eyes without engaging the muscles of the forehead. So try it. It's kind of, <laughs> it's definitely a little challenge, but try. We want to stretch the eyes and not overwork 
already tensed forehead. Move your eyes left and right while getting your spine in this curve. You're holding here, bones are open, belly button, press it away higher. And maybe you can drop your head even further with your chin moving away from the chest, from the neck. Open the mouth, A, O, A, O. Few more breaths in this deep back bend with your head held. Is your head coming closer to the floor? Are your back of your fingers close to the floor? If yes, then relax your fingers on the floor, but keep your elbows closer together. And then super slowly using your hands, lift your head up. Oh. <laughs> Come on, lift your hips up once you're facing the ceiling, hips off the floor, move your body back and forth just a little bit. It could be a little bit too much. So go slow. Oh, that feels amazing. And we're climbing towards the bottom of the neck and then space underneath of the shoulder blades. Up towards the neck, underneath of the shoulder blades. Oh, made it. Couple more times. Keep them have to be too high. I like to spread my toes. I just kind of lift my toes up off the floor and stretch in them. Nice air. <laughs> Let this fresh air from the balcony make some love. And then slowly lower down. Lower down and let your head, neck be on the foam roller. I like to start with my arms kind of behind. Tops of my shoulders can dig in the foam roller too. Those muscles are called deltoids. Top of your arms, those little cushions on top of your arms. You can kind of dig your cushions into the foam roller here. And then release your arms all the way down to your feet. Rock side to side until your shoulders off the foam roller. Ah, oh, that feels incredible. Knees together, head rock side to side. Start moving your fingers and massaging your hair up away from the foam roller. And move your fingers from the neck up to the top of your scalp, from the temples up to the scalp, from the forehead up to the top from the sides up to the top. Do that few brushes. I like to kind of move my head to the right and one hand behind the neck, one hand over the forehead and both hands are moving up at the same time from the forehead and from the back of the neck. And then I turn my head to the left, my one hand behind the neck, one hand front of forehead and I go up from both directions. <laughs> and then sides, pull your hair Oh my God, pull it side to side. Oh, it's so nice to have hair in this hair massage. Sensational. Move your head side to side and then close your eyes and smile. Mm -mm -mm, so good to be me. Be proud of yourself for showing up. True self-care is disconnecting yourself, even from your own responsibility, guys, so we can recharge and do the thing that our body needs. Our system needs to thrive. Very often our responsibilities go against our body, physical and emotional needs. In conflict, move your head side to side. Hmm. Move your hips a little bit to the left and then move your knees to the right. It's good to be thoughtful. Every step of transition, you need to be thoughtful. Hang here for a while. Mm -mm -mm. And then use your hands to press up. Thank you, foam roller. Every time with the foam roller, it's a very special time. Okay, close your eyes, palms towards the sky to receive. lessons, wisdom, feedback, criticism, whatever comes, you receive with grace and openness. When the student is ready, the teachers appear from everywhere. Relax your eyes, smile, think of something that you're grateful for.
in the smallest detail possible. And then having this calm, peaceful energy, clarity of your mind, what are you going to accomplish? One thing done well. Again, the smallest thing, right? It could be just taking the dishes out of your dishwasher, <laughs> mindfully. Nice. And we begin our Thursday. Thank you guys so much. Hope your neck feels amazing. If you have a neck mental oil, like our pain relief, would be a great time to rub into right now after all of this work to let things go in and flowing and releasing. Thank you so much. Have